So we have here the washing machine just finished its cycle and instead of going down the drain into the sewer system or into their septic system here we got them flooding each of these uh, basins this tree is off right now uh, the little hand the uh, ball valves on the end are off that's why we have that but uh filling them up for the vitex tree the desert willow and the citrus pretty sweet This could be how many gallons, Mike? About 40 gallons. Up to 40 gallons. Fantastic. The older uh, model washing machines, top loaders with the big mm -hmm. in the middle, about 30 to 40 gallons per load. 30 to 40 gallons per load. The efficiency ones are getting up to like 10 to 15 gallons per load, so they're getting really efficient. Mm. Um, so if you're trying to save money and not upgrade to a new washer to save water, just use the same washer you have keep that water in the, on the landscape and use it on your uh, your plants instead of just setting it to the drain. And here we are in full practice. A gray water system success. We're here at one of our customers houses and one of the uh, new projects that we're doing are they're installing gray water systems into uh, the laundry, the washing machine in the laundry room. I'm here with my man, Mr. Mike Gettins. Michael, uh, can you kind of give a quick rundown exactly what's going on here in the laundry room and uh, you know, how simple in some ways this, this is and then the benefits that come from it? Of course. Yeah, we came here um, to a customer's house who needed a new irrigation system and we found that their laundry room is actually in the middle of their backyard in this shed. So it was a perfect opportunity to use this water in the landscape for the fruit trees. So this is a top loader, um, high water use laundry machine. Um, about 40 gallons per load comes out of this machine and goes into the septic tank. This one right here, which is called the laundry to landscape system. And um, it's great, it's really easy to use. There's a switch right here that if you turn it to that way, it's, the water's gonna run through this pipe, through the black tube into the same drain that it usually would run. Mm -hmm. into the septic system. So that gives you the opportunity to wash dirty diapers with bleach or, you know, uh, any, any soaps or anything that would harm the landscape, you could still divert that to the septic or the sewer. Mm -hmm. But So all we did is, again, there's normally just a pipe coming to the back of the washer down in that tube. So all we did is added, extended the, the, the line back here and over into our gray water system. The gray water now, the, 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 the gray water system that we installed is basically going to the left, correct? Yeah, so gray water is any water that humans have touched. So when I switch this down in the down position, this is the pipe that Clint was talking about where every, every washing machine has a drain pipe like this that usually goes into the sewer. But if you take it, put it into this T, this uh, three port valve, now it's going this way. There's an air vent right here to make sure it doesn't suck back into the machine. Then it goes down and out the wall into the soil and to the trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, we, and right behind you, we installed the smart timer for the irrigation. So it's not as if this landscaping uh, back here and in the front is, is just solely depending on the washing machine going off. The customer here likes to go away for the summer uh, up north into the mountains, so isn't here all the time washing your clothes. So a system like this is fantastic. Plus, this is a this is a uh, a, a, a hydrowise timer which can be run from the Wi-Fi on an app on her phone. She could technically run her irrigation system from anywhere in the world. That's right. So here we are coming outside of this laundry room. You can see it's a uh, a little uh, like Mike said, a shed off the back of the house, and then it comes on the other side of this wall. And what's going on here? What's the, what is this uh, what is this valve we have here? So this valve right here is just like the one you saw inside. So it's a three port valve. It takes uh, a source line and then it splits it into two where you can choose to go one way or the other. In this case, one way goes to two trees, which is desert willow and the uh, vitex over mm -hmm. there. And then if it's switched the other way, 
it's going to the citrus trees. Mm. So this gives you more flexibility. You can split it between all four trees if you want by putting it in the middle, or you could just do citrus trees uh, and, and leave your desert trees. And if they want to drink, you know, a couple times in the, in the summer, you could switch it over to them. Yep. So it gives you ultimate flexibility in, in where your water is going. This is mm -hmm. the equivalent of two irrigation zones. Mm -hmm. So it's not a shutoff valve. It's just a way to uh, it's just, just the valve, the, the handle itself is just determining which direction uh, the water is going to go into. Right. And then right here we have a hose clean out. So um, there's an adapter that can be put on here to put your garden hose up to. And then the garden hose can flush out any contaminants or any sludge or anything that gets in the mm -hmm. pipes. Um, just a way to clean it out like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice little feature. And again, as we go into the yard, we have three trees over here. The one back there is not in yet, but that's going to be a citrus. We have the Vitex right here and the Desert Willow right here. And then on the other side of the shed, we have the, cit the other citrus tree. Um, so you can see we ran these one inch pipes underground. That's this guy right here. Oh, right here. Uh, right as we get to the tree, we uh, reduce it down to a half inch. Uh, see them over here. And uh, we'll have them coming into right there. We had it, we actually ran the wash. And uh, you can see uh, there's the little shutoff valve on the end in case we just don't want water coming there. And uh, if we could technically shut it all off and it'll go out the, the end here. Now we still got to shorten that. That's not the way it'll look to, at the very end of this, but uh, it's kind of the overflow. We have one on the other side of the yard too. So all that laundry water just coming right on in here. Now some of these are like 40 gallons of water instead of it just going down in her septic or for most of us it'd be going into the city again. Why not keep it right here? on your property use a little less water on your irrigation side and use irrigation in many ways as a supplement uh, and you can see that one's already closed off but you can see how much water pumped out of here uh, when we ran that wash pretty sweet again we still have the uh, main irrigation system this is the uh, three-quarter inch backflow coming down into the valves uh, themselves, the uh, sprinkler, uh, the irrigation valves. There's no sprinklers here, but all of them are drip. And so, this will be the uh, lifeblood uh, for the most part, especially when she's out of town. But uh, it just guarantees that her stuff will stay alive no matter what. But it's pretty sweet to be able to use some of that gray water uh, right here into her landscape. And uh, she's got a lot of natives mixed with a good amount of uh, uh, drought tolerant stuff. So we're not done here, but kind of get the idea and the potential of, uh, you know, between uh, hopefully one of these days we'll get, we'll get her to get some gutters too and put that out there. So between roof water, uh, gray water, and hopefully last but not least city water, uh, you can really have a, uh, a vibrant garden all around your house. Thanks, Mikey.